Hey plant fam, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is my jungle and today I'm really excited to show you because yesterday afternoon on a whim I went to Home Depot and I was like, I just feel like going. I don't know why. I just, I had to go. I've been seeing people find all the good plants at Home Depot and I just felt, I felt the urge, I felt the tickle, it was calling me, and I'm glad that I went, so let's, let's watch that, and then we'll come back and talk about it. All right, you guys, so we're here in Home Depot, and I'm just hitting you with a really quick voiceover because we had some copyright music going on when I came in. This Monstera is quite possibly one of the largest I've ever seen in Home Depot, um, but I didn't see a price on it. It, it seemed reasonably happy and healthy considering it's Home Depot. And then this, what is this? Split leaf philodendron of some sort. Beautiful. These syngoniums are stunning, but I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of struggling a little bit with the syngoniums that I have, so I didn't want to take this one home with me because I, I don't want to kill it. I haven't killed any of them. They just are dropping a lot of leaves, but they always have tons of new growth. I don't know. I'm, I'm probably going to do a video about it soon, so I'll show you guys. And this cute little peperomia pixie right i think it's a pixie they have really cute subtle variegation on the leaves and then they're kind of fuzzy too i just i never get one because i feel like i'm trying to narrow down my plant collection to the plants that i really really love the most and really bring me joy so yeah this hoya is cute too they have lots of um crimson queens this fiddle leaf fig is adorable too for 29, I think. And then we've got a snake plant and is easy. And I'm over this voiceover thing, so we're gonna get back to real life in a minute here. You guys can hear me and I look crazy. I'm sorry. I just ran to Home Depot because I've been seeing so many people finding all these beautiful plants and look at what I found it's labeled as beautiful home decor but this is a giant hanging basket of monstera silk piccata I'm gonna turn you around so you can get a better look at it what <laughs> and I hope that you can hear me it's not too loud in here right now but I just walked in here and nearly had a heart attack this giant hanging basket of Monstera Stiltivacana for $16.98. It's labeled as beautiful home decor. There's another one here, but I think that I prefer that one. Like, can you even, like what? I'm like, my mind is blown. So my friend is at Home Depot currently and found a bunch of Hoya DS70. So I was like, let me go and see if I can find any Hoya. But I found that instead. They do have Hoya. I'm sorry for the noise. They do have tons and tons of Hoya Crimson Queens in these little hanging baskets. I don't know how much they are. I think they're a little bit cheaper because they're a little bit smaller. But some of them have really beautiful variegation and there's tons tons of them but we are focused on this I'm picking which one is healthier I can't even wrap my head around this right now they have some beautiful neon photos too some heart leaf philodendron some really healthy happy 
golden pothos, but I can't focus on any of this. Not even these cool bromeliad blooms. Sorry, there's a lot of talking going on in here. At least there's no copyright music happening. I am like having a mini panic attack over this for no reason. I just have to share this with you guys. I came here kind of just on a whim. And uh, yeah, I'm really glad that I did. I have a very teeny tiny cutting of this plant from my friend Julia over at Good Life Green Tropics. But obviously, I mean, I'm going to buy one of these too because like that's a crazy, ridiculous price and such a good find. So there's some damaged leaves on both of them. So I'm going to try to really get in here and get a good look at both of them to decide which one I'm going to take home with me because I don't actually have enough money to get both or else I kind of would to share it with you guys. So, yeah. You're checking out the succulents and this little weirdo caught my eye because it looks fuzzy. Look at it. I don't know if it freaks me out or if it's like the coolest thing I've ever seen. Cocoon plant. The Senecio Hawarthii. Listen, I don't know, man. I can't wrap my head around this. Now that we're outside, you can see it better, actually. Like, what the actual fuck? I'm sorry for my mouth, but what the actual fuck? I mean, Costa Farms did say that they were going to be coming out with more uncommon plants this year so otherwise there's nothing really all that exciting going on these second ones look really sad I just wanted to get your opinion you guys on this weird is this cool or is it creepy I can't decide I'm running out of battery. I probably look crazy. I don't know if you can even hear me through this headset, but like, come on, you guys. You guys, you guys, I can't handle it right now. Look at it. Holy crap. It's definitely been um, watered too much. So when I get home, I'm gonna remove the bottom and try and get some of this water to drain, but. Otherwise, with some love, it should be just fine. Holy crap. It's hot in this car. I can't breathe from having this mask on. So I'm gonna go. Oh, I can't even, I can't, I really can't do it. Whole, holy shit. Okay, so now that I've adequately picked my jaw up from the floor from yesterday, we can grab this. It's probably, it was a good idea to grab it before. Like, what? I still can't wrap my head around it in the slightest. It's a little too bright. What? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more random rare plant finds. Like, seriously. I'm struggling. But yeah, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. <laughs> I don't I can't even talk.